A good friend, uh, Mr. Jonathan Terrell out of Austin, Texas. He's actually from Texas. Anyhow, we met at the songwriter receipt that I was, the retreat that I was super apprehensive to do because I thought the whole idea of it was kind of preposterous and silly. But I ended up doing it and then I met Jonathan Terrell. We were both wearing super short Wrangler shorts. <laughs> and mess shirts and cowboy hats. And we're both from the South. And we're like, alright man. You know, this is gonna be cool. And so the next morning when we had our session together, we wrote this song and we were both talking about how we got into music and how we got into country music in the first place, besides being subjected to it as uh, children. Um, but it was uh, it was for our gay uncles that, that really got us into it. Taught us how to change a tire and you know, listen to Dolly Parton. And, you know, be kind. Anyhow, so we wrote a song about a fictional character, basically. And this is uh, based on uh, this fellow who's probably in his mid-40s or so, we imagine. And uh, he's recently divorced. And uh, he's going out to a bar for the first time, and he ends up in a very special place called Decisions. Now, here's the real part of this whole thing, is that there are actually these two uh, gay bars in Longview, Texas, where Jonathan's from. One was called Choices, and one was called Decisions. Like, I was like, shut up, man. You can't make it. Like, seriously, I'm like, Long Beach, Texas, huh? Are you serious? He's like, yeah. Anyhow, so someone burned Choices down. And well, here's where these two stories intermingle. There are two bars in this town. Choices and Decisions. Well, they burned Choices down. So here I sit in decision. They said it was a hate crime or an insurance claim. Well, on the left side of town, my money spends the same. And I can't believe how dolled up. These beautiful gals are. We all use the same bathrooms and they all look like movie stars. Around the Bartles and James for all my new friends. Well, down here at Decisions, they welcome. See, perhaps our character here was subject to all kinds of preconceived notions of masculinity growing up in the Deep South. <laughs> and perhaps it was meant he was supposed to marry that high school sweetheart. Perhaps it was meant he was supposed to work at the gear plant. You know, a lot of them do. <laughs> and then he went out to that one really nice bar on the edge of town the first time. The whole world changed. Cowboys at the gay bar under dangling disco balls. The drinks and the patrons are both strong and tall. Tomorrow comes waltzing a song so clear. I'll tell you, my future's gonna be country and queer. Where it gets 
it's pretty far out. <laughs> well, Michael Jordan, he could dunk. But he sure loved baseball. And I love George Jones, but also Pink Floyd's The Wall. There's no decisions. And decisions, you can have it both ways. <laughs> You gotta pick up a fiddle to know how it plays. The cowboys at the gay bar and the dangling disco balls and drinks and the patrons are both strong and tall. Tomorrow comes waltzing a song so clear. I tell you, my future's. Gotta be country and queen. Yo, lane. so I can recall it all. <laughs> Please? Well, there's Jimmy, Frisco, Charlie and Fred, <laughs> and old Stan and Daniel, and Timbo and Ted. We all belly up together after a day of punch and steers. Now, I bet you know where this is going. <laughs> Y'all are all real smart out here in California. <laughs> I tell you, my future's gonna be country and queer. 